I need your help on something once again. And don't worry, this isn't anything nearly as serious as those fucking mental locks that I had earlier. And by the way, how are you guys doing? I, I saw that I gained a lot of subscribers in the last few days. Usually if something like that happens, I would make a video introducing myself. So I guess for you new guys, you can consider this something like that as well too. I really do appreciate you coming by because right now I am going through a lot of um, personal realization stuff with my channel, but I still appreciate you either way coming through to chill with your boy as I get through this journey called YouTube. Thank you guys so much. But we are here to talk today mainly about my reaction videos to anime. Now, this is one of the many things that I did beforehand that I put on hiatus due to the fact that there was a lot of risk with it, considering that this is what I do full time. I mean, and if you're new here, I'm just informing you, this is my job, my, my main income, the way I eat, the way I have a fucking roof to live under, everything about my life revolves around my income on YouTube. There's no other secondary one. And uh, I know maybe that sounds a little bit reckless to some people, but this is a long journey that I've been on, man. And I've done a lot of things in the past, but I really do enjoy doing this, even though it doesn't pay like that well depending on what you do and I haven't really been getting paid too well at the same time I'm willing to work hard and to get my channel up there so I mean it's whatever to me but um I wanted to talk a lot about the anime um, reviews now if you've been following me for the last few weeks you know that I'm preparing to release a bunch of the segments that I used to do back in full force and um, I've been preparing for the cooking segment um, this young Ramsey dude has been harassing me apparently um, I'm preparing to do the fire room to get the gameplay back oh man like I mean I know I talk a whole lot of game but I mean I'm, I'm seriously getting ready to bring gameplay and integrate that shit back fully into my regular flow of videos and a lot of the stuff that I've been preparing for of course now comes down to the reactions as well too along with me producing my own original content since I now have the cameras to do so but the reactions are still so important to me and so dear to my heart a lot of you dudes have been asking me why didn't you cover or follow up with this anime or that OVA the main reason is because copyright is scary and these companies that produce the anime that manage the anime they're going online and destroying YouTube channels in a blink of an eye due to the fact that they have multiple episodes or reactions something like that along those lines on their channels and I don't want to take that risk anymore even though I did have way of negating that in the past with certain disclaimers that I will put before the video um, I don't feel like that's solid enough and there's a lot of risk with that kind of thing and the last thing I need is my channel going down and me being thrown out of my apartment and living on the street I mean this is, that, that that would fucking suck so I'm asking now here's the thing right I've mentioned this a lot beforehand there's a lot more of you dudes than there are of me I mean I guess I consider myself one of you dudes but you have access to way more information now in terms of avoiding copyright strikes or avoiding content ID or any of that shit in general when doing my reaction videos to anime, for example, I want to react to the new Attack on Titan trailer for the season 2 that was released recently. I really do, but I know for a fact that either Pony Canyon or one of these other Japanese um, production companies are, or Funimation themselves potentially, are going to rip my black nuts straight off. and. That's a risk I can't take. Now, of course, I could do the reaction video, only my reaction, without showing the anime at all in question, but that makes for a lot of a dry experience, although that probably will be what I resort to, so I can't even, you know, criticize it that much. But the fact of the matter is, is that when you have just a sole video of you watching the anime with no anime in question appearing, it won't have that same retention as if there was some kind of way of knowing where the anime episode is at that you're reacting to. I'm asking you guys, do you have any way, or do you, if you can come up with any way or idea, and by the way, I will be reading the comments fucking religiously on this video, so let me know um, if you have any ideas, but um, I need a way to react to anime episodes with the anime somewhat showing, like, I don't know, I mean, even if it's not showing, I need innovation here, I need creativity, I've been thinking about this a lot, I've been writing down a lot of things, and I need your input as well, too. You dudes have helped me out with so much shit in the past, and I hate to come to you and knock on your door again asking for your fucking help so much. I mean, you've already done a lot for your boy as it is, and I, re I really don't want to inconvenience you guys any further than I already have, especially since I haven't been giving you the content that you've been regularly wanting in terms of the gameplay stuff, but I really need your help on this again. Like, I have the content ready I know exactly what I need to do all I need is a method and I've developed methods on pretty much every other segment that I'm going to be bringing back from the dead and new ones as well too and I just need some kind of way now I don't need no jank ass methods man like um like reversing the video or or making the video colors inverted of the anime or fucking stabbing a black man with a fucking hot dog but I mean 
I, I need something that might work, some kind of ingenuity, some kind of creativity. Now, um, one thing that I was thinking is just have me watching the anime, like, but instead of showing the anime at all, just have the sound playing. But there have been companies that have ripped niggas' dicks off over the fact that just the audio is playing as well, too. So here is my second idea. I could watch the anime, right? And instead of showing the anime itself, me reacting to it, like on the video with me, rather i'll show a timer so i'll say hey guys what's going on today i'm going to be reacting to episode dick of hunter x hunter now i'm going to press play now pull up hunter x hunter episode dick on your own browser and play it right now and it'll show a timer of where i am in the anime so you know exactly what time i'm at so you can see what i'm reacting to with the anime open up in a different tab that way i avoid the copyright i avoid the fucking audio as well too and you're able to still have the episode in question itself up on a different window and me in the window as well too. I know it's kind of jank. It it doesn't really get the full effect of having the anime showing in the video in question. But I mean, it's the only thing I could think of that will keep me intact and keep copyright companies from feeling what my organs are like for my asshole. I can't have that happen because there's so much writing on my YouTube channel right now. And I mean, I've been so stressed out about it lately. A lot better off ever since I've done those um, ballads beforehand, which helped me to realize what you guys really want and who's really watching, the times that they're watching. Those help me out a lot. But I need this way to truly usher in that next level reaction stuff that I'd be doing. I mean... Like, I, I, I tell you guys all the time, I don't fucking fake this shit. You can ask these niggas, the way I behave in my videos, or the way that I fucking am 100%, all I need now is a true way to keep myself safe from these companies that don't give a damn if you're making money off of this stuff. They don't give a damn if you're living off of this stuff or not. They'll end your life and not think twice about it. And, I mean, in some cases, they do have the right for that, man. A lot of situations in where copyright is applicable with reaction videos is legit. <sighs> I still need a method though, and this is where I'm relying on you guys big time. If you have anything in regards to information that could potentially help me to avoid copyright when I'm doing my reaction videos or some kind of way to implement the video itself and somehow not get struck for it as well too, then let me know. No jank ass methods, okay? No reversing the video. No fucking, no fucking invert. That, that shit doesn't work. You basically say a prayer and you hope that shit works and it doesn't. I've seen so many reaction based channels get destroyed off of that. And, I mean, I could name them right now, but I I forgot what their fucking names are due to how long it's been since their channels have been destroyed and they've all implemented those jank methods which truly don't work we need a legit method a legit strategy we have to truly think outside the box here and come up with something that'll break the boundaries for reaction based stuff that i do in the future and make it so that it can be done safely you can enjoy yourselves and have a good time and i can enjoy watching my reaction seeing the comments as well too because that shit was fun but it just i don't know it, it just it's just too much to risk at this point Anyways, guys, let me know if you have anything in mind about this whole thing. I'll be reading the comments once again. Like I said, emphasis on this word, religiously. I'm going to be inside of those comments like niggas in the hood is inside of them pogs, my boy. <laughs> I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. And you don't even have to be a nigga from the hood, man. Everyone loves pogs. We all love pogs. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one once again. Big thank yous to anybody who's helping me out with this. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do. You guys have helped me out so much in the past, and I keep coming to you asking you for more favors, and I, I, I kind of feel bad for it. But at the same time, I know for a fact that there's a lot of people out there that are willing to help me out in situations like this. There's some think tanks in those goddamn comments, man. You've helped me figure out so many problems before. So, I mean, I just figure there's 200,000 of you, and there's only one of me.